A maturity milestone was reached August 8th of 1886 when Riverton Ward of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints was organized with 138 members. Oren P. Miller served as the first bishop. Plans were soon underway for a new meeting house. Richard Cladding was selected as the architect. He was also the architect of the Utah State Capitol and the old Saltar Pavilion. Willard Bergen was named building contractor. With visions of new hope, the people geared for Riverton's grandest effort. Construction began in 1899. This magnificently beautiful domed church with the inscription Holiness to the Lord over the front door was erected at 128th South Redwood Road on a two-acre site donated by Thomas Page. With its high dome, and it was an inspiring edifice that could be seen for long distances. On January 21st, 1900, Bishop Miller was sustained as stake president. Gordon Bills was ordained bishop of the 346-member ward. The lower part of the building was in use by 1908. There were many financial hardships during construction. However, it was finally paid for and dedicated in 1920. The cost was approximately $25,000, plus much donated labor and materials. Because of its high ceilings, excessive maintenance, and heating problems, it was raised in 1940, just after 30 years of use. Gone, too, are the brick kiln, tithing yard, molasses mill, flour mill, harness shop, the commercial building, and dance hall built by Daniel Densley, and the Salt Lake and Utah Railroad, Orem commuter line, 1914 and 1945. Many fond memories linger in the hearts of longtime residents the pioneers of Riverton.